I've raced all over the world and uh, spent a couple hundred days a year on the road and over five continents and countless countries and different cultures and for a kid from Red Lake, uh, that can be a bit of an eye opener. A totally, totally different world. The Red Bull Air Race is, uh, is basically like the F1 series for airplanes. In 2009, I came in as a rookie at 25 years old, and I was 17 years younger than the, the average age of the, uh, the field. 30 years younger than a few of the guys. These guys are uh, uh, my dad's age, literally. <laughs> To get to that point was a pretty epic journey for me. Red Lake is a small town in northwestern Ontario, the, the end of the road, so to speak. So the highway comes in and it stops. <laughs> you, don't, you don't drive any further. If you want to go farther north, you've got to fly. Whether you're a pilot or not, you're going to get used to airplanes being around very quickly. Flying for me is a lot like um, learning to walk. I was in the airplane with my parents at six weeks old, and at about three years old, sitting on my dad's knee, taking the controls, just learning how things worked. My dad taught me how to fly. He'd still be sitting there with me, and I was essentially doing everything, sitting on a stack of boat cushions in the plane so I could just see over the dash. It wasn't until I was older that I realized that you know, not every kid grew up flying an airplane. When you live in Red Lake, there's no aerobatic plane and school at the local airport. No one else around is doing it. You don't have that experience base, that knowledge surrounding you, or network, so to speak, that brings a lot of people uh, forward. And eventually, we got an aerobatic plane in, in Red Lake. That's when all the fun really started. I had the plane now and a fuel truck <laughs> and uh, a lot of room to practice. Um, I was given great opportunities to be able to learn in a unique way, in a, in a challenging environment, in, in an unforgiving environment at the same time, but it, it teaches you, I guess, to grow up quicker as a pilot. If I had the same flying opportunities in a different environment that didn't offer me some of the things that flying in, in this world does, I wouldn't have been able to make it to where I am today as quickly at least, um, and maybe not ever. There's no doubt in my mind that um, growing up in Red Lake and in the north and that environment for me has shaped me into who I am today and, and what I've achieved.